deleted scenes are the name of the game when it comes to films. Now Marvel Studios, we know they have a ton of deleted scenes that they never reveal and they keep in that Disney vault. Some of the scenes we see, we find out a little bit more on why exactly they were, were removed and what the thought process behind it was. Now we talk about that scene that dealt with Tony Stark talking with his daughter Morgan. So when it came to that scene, in case you guys haven't seen it, it was rather interesting. And obviously we know that it was removed due to the fact that people found it confusing. Who was this older girl? Oh, it's his daughter? Okay, how does he know what she looks like? What's the reason here? How far into the future are we? Wait, is she a time traveler? There was a lot of confusion when it came to that scene. So people were like, let's just not put that in there. And ultimately the Russo brothers and Disney decided not to due to the confusion. I again think this was a smart choice and the best choice they could have made. But now the Russo brothers open up with why exactly they made this decision. You guys can find that article linked down below and I'll toss it up on the screen and read it for you guys. So it's rather long, not reading the entire thing, just the one excerpt. If you guys want the full story, it's there on the site. But Joe Russo says, and I quote, Part of the process is we go through a long period of exploring when we make these films. The idea behind the scene was to mirror the experience that Thanos had with his daughter Gamora when he used the stone at the end of Avengers Infinity War. However, unlike Gamora, fans didn't have an established connection with Morgan Stark, causing the creative team to pull that scene from the final cut. Since Thanos had the experience with his daughter in Infinity War, we started playing with the idea that there was something interesting and resonated in the symmetry with Tony and his daughter. The reason we ended up moving away from it is, once we shot it, we began to understand as we were actually shooting it, is that the audience didn't have a relationship with his adult daughter in the film. So they had a relationship with his younger daughter, but not his adult daughter. It didn't feel like it was as powerful as we may have thought so. So we began to move away from it. You know, watch that scene. And again, I think make up your mind, but I think they're 100% valid in the removal of it. Uh, it is a little weird. Like, like they say, with Gamora, we saw child Gamora. We see adult Gamora. So when that scene happens, we have an established understanding of who that character is and what time period and why it's happening. If you watch Endgame, and if you just insert that scene yourself, automatically makes no sense. I mean, Tony's even confused as to who this is and she tells him and you're just like, oh, okay. Why though? How would he know what she looks like? How is she there again? It raises a lot of questions. And on top of this, you already have a lot of questions with everything else that just happens in the film. So you're taking more time away to get to those questions and build up where it's going after that than you just did with the rest of it. I think they made the smartest choice with this. Now, ultimately, I think some people will disagree naturally, but I think it was the correct choice because it makes the actual ending of the film reasonable and understandable. 